Hey everybody, it's Kayla here from Spike. I'm excited to show you today how to set up your new Spike glycol chiller. Let's get into it. Please note, after receiving your chiller, place it upright for 24 hours before plugging it in. This is essential to allow the refrigerant to settle for normal operation. Pro tip, ensure the chiller has at least two inches of spacing from the lower side vents in any obstruction. This allows for proper airflow and prevents overheating. First, You'll want to fill your reservoir with a mixture of Spike's propylene glycol and distilled water. You can use the side sight glass to see how much you're adding. The minimum fill level for the chiller is 6 gallons and the maximum is 8 gallons. Stay within this range for best performance. Pro tip! A distilled water to glycol ratio is a 2 to 1 ratio. Two parts distilled water to one part glycol. Fill the tank until the coils are submersed with a 2 to 1 distilled water to glycol mix. Now it's time to start it up. Plug your chiller into the wall outlet and turn it on by locating the power switch on the back. Your chiller is now operational. To set the reservoir temperature, press the set button on the control panel. The temperature setting should start blinking. Use the arrow keys to change the temperature up or down to your desired value. When you're ready, press the set button again to lock in the set temperature. To confirm whether or not your chiller is actively running, check the snowflake icon. If the snowflake is illuminated, the chiller is actively running. Pro tip, for optimal performance and to prevent freezing, set the glycol chiller to a target temperature of 28 degrees Fahrenheit. By default, your controller will display in Fahrenheit. If you'd like to change to Celsius, press and hold the CF button for 3 seconds. The temperature units will switch to Celsius. Follow the same process if you'd like to switch back to Fahrenheit. To use the Spike TC100 bundle with the chiller, lower your cooling pump into the reservoir. Using the suction feet on the pump, press it securely to the bottom so that it's aligned with one set of internal tubing outlets. Feed the power cord of your cooling pump through the cord routing cutout on the back of the chiller. Connect the provided internal tubing to the outlet port on the top of your cooling pump. Take the insulated tubing provided with your TC100 bundle and attach it to the in and out ports on the outside of your chiller. Connect the cooling pump to your TC100 temperature controller using the power cord you threaded previously. Continue using the bundle as described in the TC100 user guide. It will walk you through controlling heating and cooling during your fermentation process. Use the sight glass to monitor the glycol level. You may notice a slight decrease over time. If the level in the chiller drops below the optimal level, Add more glycol to bring the reservoir up to the minimum of 6 gallons. If you want to completely drain your reservoir, simply remove the left side panel of the chiller. It is secured with two screws. Inside the chiller, you'll find a small tube attached to a valve. To start the drain process, turn the valve to the open position. Allow the liquid to drain through the tube. When finished, turn the valve to the closed position before refilling the chiller. That's a wrap, guys. I hope you enjoy your new spike chiller. Happy brewing.